The Leeds Climate Innovation District is one of the largest sustainable settlements in the UK, with 1,000 homes being built on car-free streets on a former brownfield site on the banks of the River Eyre. It forms part of the city's major South Bank regeneration plans, drawing on Scandinavian best practice and harnessing the latest technology to deliver new low-carbon homes. For the first time in 90 years, new houses are being built in Leeds city centre. The much needed accommodation has been introduced alongside attempts to keep many of the riverside historical buildings and links to the past. Recent years have seen many old industrial buildings given a new lease of life as offices and apartments. It was once the industrial workshop of Leeds on account of its iron foundries and steelworks. In late Victorian times, its steelworks were Britain's largest producer of railway tracks, sprawling over a 25-acre site. One in every five men in Leeds worked in the heavy industries, which were predominantly concentrated south of the River Eyre. However, South Leeds' reliance on iron, steel and textiles meant it was hit hard by industrial decline. By the 1960s, the area's traditional industries had largely collapsed and workers' terraced houses were demolished in slum clearances. Once home to steel mills and chemical works, Leeds South Bank was transformed in the space of a few years to post-industrial wasteland. Sustainable urban living is when there is minimal damage to the environment. The economic base is sound with resources allocated fairly and jobs are secure. There should be a strong sense of community with local people involved in decisions made. Its aims include the use of renewable resources, energy efficiency, use of public transport, accessible resources and services. The new homes are being created alongside manufacturing, leisure, offices, a care home and a primary school. The Climate Innovation District is designed to reduce carbon emissions at every stage. The new homes require far less heating and all energy requirements will be supplied by 100% renewable energy. The houses are constructed from insulated timber panels, storing 23 tonnes of carbon for each house. The timber frame housing system for every property are made in specially built manufacturing plants which are located on site, thus reducing the environmental and financial costs of transporting the completed timber panels to site. After completion, the land, infrastructure and the renewable technologies will all be transferred to the residents, which will run the development as a cooperative. Owners will pay a bond to join a community interest company and their stake will be handed to the next resident if ever they decide to sell. The beauty of the community interest company is that it means that the residents can control the future of their place and keep it at the cutting edge of sustainability. They will be able to invest in new renewable technologies as they become available and reap the rewards themselves in terms of lower energy prices or greater profits. The residents make the decisions along with their neighbours. In terms of energy use, the new homes are so efficient that traditional central heating systems are no longer required. Instead, the houses capture the heat generated by appliances and the people living in it and recycle it by transferring it from exiting stale air to incoming fresh air. Over 90% of the heat is transferred and very little heat is lost through the home's ultra-insulated thermal envelope. The properties are 10 times more airtight than UK building regulations require. Heating requirements are also 10 times lower than the average modern UK home. There are passive cooling features too, so it stays cool in summer without needing an air conditioning system that would need to use lots of energy. Orientated to the south, the buildings harness the sun's natural energy through photovoltaic modules and active solar panels to provide light, heat and energy. All of the houses nearest the river and the apartment blocks behind have large south-facing solar arrays. To maximise the use of this renewable energy, it will be shared across the whole development via a private wire network. Panels on the houses alone will generate over 18,000 kilowatts of electricity each year all of which will be used for the benefit of the residents. Any excess solar power will be sold to the grid to generate income. This money helps to fund the community interest company 
and will all stay within the development to be invested in the improvements that the residents vote for. Access to green spaces is integral to the design, with green infrastructure embedded throughout the plan, encouraging healthy outdoor lifestyles. The entire district benefits from rainwater and stormwater collection and green roofs. Many of the homes have their own rain gardens to store rainwater running off the roof terraces. These will be teeming with lush vegetation and the subtle smell of fresh herbs from wall-mounted herb gardens. Add to that the secret garden, which is a tranquil 25,000 square feet open green space, providing a wonderfully relaxing spot for the residents to enjoy every day. By living in the centre of Leeds, it is anticipated that residents will be able to walk or cycle to all of the amenities of the city, massively reducing the need to use a car. The area is designed to be car free and the houses at the Climate Innovation District are raised up several metres above ground level to create a car free landscape above an undercroft car park. Those who do still need a vehicle will be encouraged to transition to zero emission electric cars and residents can install electric charging points for their vehicles. Parking spaces are available to purchase for £15,000 when their homes are bought. Looking to the future, although the Climate Innovation District is alongside the River Air, all the houses and apartments are raised up so that it will withstand even a 1 in 200 year flood event without any of the homes being affected. The district is actually designed to be able to resist a 1 in 1,000 year flood event without any of the homes being affected. But with climate change we expect floods to become more severe than they have been in the past, hence a 1 in 200 year designation. The development includes sustainable drainage systems to improve storm water retention to prevent flooding occurring. The site benefits from Leeds City Council's £50 million flood prevention scheme which opened in late 2017 and uses movable weirs to massively reduce flood risk in Leeds. It's one of the biggest flood alleviation schemes in the country and significantly reduces the chances of flooding in Leeds City Centre, including at the Climate Innovation District site. Leeds City Council is also planning on planting hundreds of thousands of trees in the river air drainage basin to reduce the risk of floods occurring so this may well help alleviate the increased risk from climate change and maintain the district's ability to completely resist flooding. Clearly, it is an exciting time for Leeds South Bank and a new chapter in its history has begun.